last night. We did. With house, con I call them house concert people. <laughs> <laughs> One came up to me after the show was over and said, you should go, you should go to Nashville and, and sing in those country bars. You, you really could have a career. <laughs> And Cliff said, I, I, I do have a career. I have Elvis, you know, I'm, I'm in with James. He said, oh yeah, you're with James. But I mean, you know, really. <laughs> I can't go with this. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff is what are you writing a book with somebody, right? Yeah, I write a book with John Gorka called Totally Inappropriate Things Said Before, After, and During Gigs to Me. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that before the guy came up to him. <laughs> I said it the other day, and it's true, I was playing in Jersey, and somebody said, do you know what you should do? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you write a song? I said, why don't you? <laughs> well, what went off in between the shows? Oh, don't sit over there and sulk by yourself. <laughs> why he told me to go sing in country bars. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, doing I, so well for me right now. I was thinking maybe he actually was trying to be funny. No. no. <laughs> you know what else happened at the house concert? The guy who threw the house concert, a wonderful man named Fred Monroe, uh, on Thursday his wife said, uh, he left, she left me a message, James, you should call, call me. So I called her and I said, yeah, what's happening? She said, listen, Fred had a heart attack. <gasps> and, and I soiled myself. And uh, I... <laughs> No, I think Again? it's so. You yourself lately. Yeah. <laughs> I had food poisoning. Depends on what you mean. No, but in any event, uh, she said he had a heart attack. And I said, oh, is he all right? She said, he's fine. Here's what I want you to know. We're doing the show anyhow. <laughs> oh, wow. And they did. And we, had a, we sold it out. It was back to the, to the, uh, to the max. It was really, really fun. And, uh, and we, she called Fred and held the phone. And he's being released today. So he's, he's clearly going to live. But it was, I thought it was an incredible thing for a person to do for mm. You know, just... And she said, well, you know, he's coming from that. Clifford lives in Massachusetts. So she said, he's coming from Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. You're only friends here. And, uh, and, ah. and so she, they didn't want to cancel. Pretty sweet. Ah, your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a town that's so small in Massachusetts that uh, it's literally so How small is it? <laughs> <laughs> Doing a show here. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Quaker meeting. <laughs> the spirit moves in, keep it to yourself. <laughs> there's like 200 people, I live in Williamsburg, Massachusetts, there's about 200 people. And, um, they don't have mail delivery there, it's so small, but they have a post office and they have three women that work there and I call them the female mailmen. <laughs> they like it. And they have all the town gossip and I find one day I said, well, what do they think about me in the town? They said, well, they refer to you as the man who doesn't work. <laughs> so that's all I've ever aspired to. <laughs> Mother Sunday to This time, always a face appears in my dreams, brings me back home tonight. Always your face in my memory.
arms can't reach me this time. But always your face appears in my dreams, brings me back home tonight. Always you. Oh